When we say impressionist, you'll probably think painter. And it's true Rick Wouter certainly knew how to wield a paintbrush. The 2000 works he painted in 10 years' time attest to that. But Wouters was a sculptor too, capturing movement in clay like no other. Rick has, has made an extraordinary amount of studies, uh, portraits, uh, sculptures of this one woman's body. There's a real sensitivity in, in his portraits there. He really carved it with a knife in the clay at first and then um, with his hands he sculpted it very quickly and what you can see in details like the toes is that he had to find um, a balance between the speed that he was working with and the, uh, the detail of this body of this woman, um, his wife and, and, and great love. He's called an impressionist because of his interest, I think, in the, the fleeing moment, the, the way light touches an object or touches a person or a body, and um, it's gone in an instant. And he was um, a master in catching that moment. If you look at the work now, it still looks like it's, it's a flash, it's an instant that he, a glimpse of light that he caught. And that's, um, that's really extraordinary, I think. He asked Nell to pose for him, and it was difficult to find the right angle or the right line for the work because um, he wanted everything in there. He wanted the light, the music, the, the atmosphere, the movement of the dancer, and they couldn't find it. And then at one point, she lifted her hands in despair and she said, it's impossible. What you want is impossible. And then he said, freeze, this, this is what we'll do. When he was working on this uh, sculpture, he was working on the attic of his small house in Bosvoorde. They didn't have much space and it got extremely cold in the winter. So um, clay you have to cover up with wet cloth. And at one point apparently it froze and it broke and he had to start all over again. Starting out as a sculptor, he quickly turns to painting. He will eventually paint a lot more uh, than he has made sculptures because painting allows him to be much more um, spontaneous, much faster to work a lot with color, which um, at that time bronze sculptures don't allow him. 2,000 works, almost, in 10 years' time. He must have been a maniac. He dedicated everything to art. He worked from morning till noon, and then as relaxation from work, he worked some more. When he was tired of sculpting, he painted, because that was a little bit lighter, and was tired of painting, he drew or he made etches. So the concentration and focus in his life on his art is admirable. 